Let's talk about when we would use a soft edge. Uh, in decorative painting and in fine art, we always create a three-dimensional form to an object. So the same applies for watercolor painting. An object must look as if it's round. For example, you can see that the change in value from dark to light here shows that this is a round sphere. We can do the same um, technique or apply color in the same manner to create that effect. So I'm going to start developing this leaf, and I'll show you how we can apply color to the edges of it to roll that edge back. So I'm going to turn this a little bit like this way. And this would also be a good time to show you how to test to see if the area is dry to work on. Now, we worked on this a while ago, and you, you know that I had applied wet color. If I want to make sure that's dry, what I will do is use the back of my fingers I can lay my finger gently on a surface like this and compare it to a dry surface. I know this is dry. This was recently painted on. If I do this and it feels cool to the touch, I do this and it feels at room temperature, I know that this is still damp. If you have done a large surface wash and you want to judge to see if it's dry, obviously you don't want to put your hands in it, but if you pass your hand over the surface of the water, your hand will be sensitive to the cool temperature of the paper, and you know to wait a little longer. At that point, you can resort to a blow dryer, but not when it's very, very wet. So to apply a soft edge, what we want to use is paint that is fairly um, juicy. It's got a fair amount of pigment in it. And I'm going to apply that to the edge, lay down my color, along the edge or wherever I want it, like this. And then I take my brush, I wash it out, and with a damp brush, put that in here so you can see, I'm just patting it. I come in along the edge, and I soften that edge. I can pull that color forward that way I get a nice soft gradation from one to the other. I will do it on the other side again with a slightly darker value so that you can see, um, see it a little more dramatic effect. Let's do it along the vein line. I can come in here with my color, apply it down the edge, wash my brush out, and with a wet brush now, I can soften that edge. And notice the way the color will charge into that wet area. And also give me a nice soft gradation of color. If you wanted it a little bit stronger, you could do it again. Or you can wait and repeat the whole process. You can also tap extra pigment into there now if you wanted. And notice the way as I tap in, because I'm now working wet and wet, that color will just disperse on its own to whatever area that is wet. So softening an edge can be applied anywhere. I mean, I could go back in through the back edge of that apple if I wanted. Let's do a little bit on that. And I could place just a tiny little bead of color remove the excess water from my brush, and come in with a damp, clean brush, and just soften that area. And you will notice the way that the, the pigment has just graduated all the way through. If I wanted to pull it right down into the little stem area of that apple, use the tip of my brush to play with the pigment and pull it forward. Just a nice, easy way to um, to control and add dimension to your painted surface. So a soft edge is one that uh, you use to create form, but the properties of a soft edge, it must have um, an area that shows a gradation of value.